Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick, Colorado. My name's Mark, and today I'm going to show you a really nice unit. This is a Dutch Star 4326 model that just came in, and uh, it's the bunkhouse model. And I really like this floor plan. There's a lot of cool features, a lot of new things for 2023. So let's just go ahead and get started with the outside. Uh, we're going to walk down this side first and show you some of the storage. First of all, in this compartment, uh, commonly you might see a pull-out tray with a freezer in here. This is pre-wired for it, so we can still add the tray, we can still add the freezer, but this one just left it as storage. You can see that's a pretty big uh, compartment there. Okay, over here, uh, this coach is a little bit unique in that they put three slide-outs in these three bays. So a lot of storage. These come out either side, and uh, you can see how much room you've got there. So it's nice, especially if you're full-timing or going for a long stay, you might pack uh, things in Tupperware that are going to be in the middle under the chassis rails. It makes it really easy to access them. Uh, while we're down here, one of the things I always like to point out is the star foundation that Numar adds, and that's this superstructure here. This steel frame, basically, what it does is it makes the frame more rigid. Star, it stands for strong, true, and robust. And one of the neat features, if you look at your floor joists, they do not set directly on that chassis rail. So you don't have as much twisting and torquing as you go down the road. You're not popping your tile or, or cracking your grout or anything like that. And it allows it to support more weight all the way back into the bathroom. Uh, you know, a lot of companies are gonna have to use carpet in the bathroom or something else. You can put tile all the way back because you've got a stronger foundation here. And another thing they did, they changed this bulb seal so it's a lot easier to close these compartment doors. I've always liked the way Numar construct them. They're very heavy duty, very well insulated, but sometimes you had to slam them kind of hard to get them closed. It's much easier now with that new bulb seal. Uh, while we're here, let's take a look at the TV. So we've got a Samsung TV with a sound bar, and this will pull out and uh, angle for you. Also, there's a switch over here. You can use this sound bar uh, maybe just for your radio if you want to listen to some music out, out here and you're not watching TV. Okay, let's move down a little farther. See a little camera up there. This does have the 360 camera that I'll talk about when we get inside. This compartment here, there's a water tank behind it. That's why uh, we've got the pegboard. Um, but I've got a couple of nice shelves there for tools or oil or, you know, I've heard people even say they're going to use that as the rack for their mini bar outside. Uh, it's up to you. Okay, this is a 43-foot chassis and it's a 52,000 GVW chassis. What that means is we've got a 20,000 pound axle on the front, 20,000 pound drive axle, and a 12,000 pound steerable tag axle. The way you can tell this is a steerable axle is just look at, at your hubs there. They're two different wheels. This will cant about 17 degrees when you're turning, really tightens that up, turn radius, and it helps prevent scrubbing on that back tire. All right, as we're moving down here, I'm gonna point out uh, what, what Numar does with their flush wall slides. Now this happens to be an egress door for the bathroom, but it's the same with their slide outs. And you can see how it tucks in nice and smooth right here. If you're going down the road, you don't have the wind whistling through there or water being driven in if you're in a rainstorm. It truly is a flush slide where a lot of companies, the fascia goes over. Uh, those just typically are noisy as you're driving down the road. Again, when you know the difference is Numar's slogan, these little things add up to a lot when you get done with it. Okay, in this compartment, we have our death tank. 
there's a 15 gallon death tank and that means we've got 150 gallons of fuel on this model. I think the 40 footers are only 100 gallons but Spartan puts 150 on the 43 footers. Uh, chassis batteries here, master disconnects right there. As we come around back, you know, uh, the Dutch Star's got kind of a facelift this year. New front cap, new rear cap, new colors, and uh, I just like the look of it. It's a great looking coach. Uh, one thing about the, the Dutch Star, it is a 450 horse Cummins that you see right here. That's the 8.9 liter, and it's a side radiator, which gives you better cooling, but also makes it easier to access the back of your engine got your uh, engine oil here, dipstick, transmission, uh, right down here, kind of hard to see, but you've got your filters and your water separator, easy to access for somebody that's going to change them on their own. Uh, air filter here, we've got our little gauge to tell us how dirty that's getting. Everything's really easy to do maintenance on when you don't have that radiator in front of you. And then, uh, down here we've got our two inch receiver. Now this is rated at 15,000 pound towing. That means you've got a, a 67,000 uh, pound GCWR, which is your gross combined weight rating. The, add the 15 to the 52,000 GVW chassis. Also, a nice feature about Spartans, they give you the Kurt brake controller right here. That's already hooked up for your airline if you're going to be pulling with an Air Force One. And there is your seven-way hitch or your pin right there. Okay, let's move around to the side. And again, you can see the side radiator. Number one, it's just a little bit bigger, but the airflow across here gives you better uh, cooling. And this is another inlet for our DEF tank. Again, 15 gallons, you can fill up from either side. So it doesn't matter which side of the pump you pull up on. Again, here's a good shot of the slide and you can see how they tuck right inside the sidewall. Uh, I, I can't say enough about them. Numars are just quieter when you're going down the road. Uh, a lot of it is the insulation, how they build their subfloor, but these slide outs make a big difference also. Right here, we've just got a little storage compartment there. So maybe you put your gloves or, you know, sewer hose or something. If you're using it, you can put it right there. We come up here to the water compartment and uh, you can see we've got a macerator. That's an option with the Dutch Star, kind of like a, uh, a garbage disposal for your black tank to chew up that solid waste and you can pump it out. So the nice thing about this is you can actually pump your solid waste uphill if you're down in a little depression and you need to get it up to the dump, uh, dump station. We've got our valves here. Everything's within this heated compartment so you're not going to worry about freeze ups. Power rewind on our water line right here. Uh, whole house filter. You can see you've got an auto fill or a manual fill. This is for filling your fresh water tank. Then you do have the, uh, the SantaCon switch. You've got a switch for your water pump. You do have an outside shower here. It's kind of like a kitchen sprayer, uh, low point drains. Everything is right here, easy to reach. They even give you a place for some paper towels. This is our 50 amp power cord. And uh, that's on a, a power rewind also. I like the fact that they move the button out here at the door. You also have your surge protector in there with your crossover switch. Uh, you've got a place to bring in cable if you're using a portable satellite or maybe uh, an RV that still has cable at an RV park that's getting a little antiquated these days. In this compartment, we have our Oasis Hydrani Keter. Uh, you've heard me talk about this before. One of the, the nice things is there's two electric elements and one diesel element in there. So it heats things up faster than, say, the Aqua Hot that only has one electric element. Also, they're a little bit quieter and a little bit cleaner burning. Um, that's, that's the main reason 
that Numar uses an oasis as opposed to an aqua hot. Okay, these are just the back of our uh, storage compartments. You can see you've got that full slide out tray. Another one right here. And you can see here we've got some extra floor tiles. I'll talk about that inside. Uh, this is electric radiant heat in your floor and if you ever need to make a repair, you can do it from the top down. You're not having to tear things up from the bottom up like on a hydronic unit. Then this compartment's got our eight AGM batteries. Now, whenever you see eight batteries, this tells me it's a residential refrigerator and an electric cooktop. Uh, there's no propane on this coach. <clears throat> While we're here, before I put the slide out, get a shot of the window awnings. I like having the one at the dinette table, especially the way we're parked right now, when the sun's sitting on the west in the afternoon, that can really shine in and bake you at the table if it's a hot day. So that's a nice, uh, nice feature there. This is another fuel tank. We have one on each side, and I didn't point out, but you can hear that steel plate that's protecting your fuel line right there. So if you were to blow a tire and shred it, you're not going to tear that up. And then right here in our final front compartment, this is our circuits for the chassis primarily. As long as we're here, let's take a look underneath the front. So we've got an 8K uh, diesel generator right here. But more importantly, a couple of nice features. Right here is your air chuck. You've got an air compressor on board. You might as well be able to use it. You might have seen in that first compartment they had a, an air hose. And then you can also hook into your water system right here. So maybe you want to clean something off, your you know dirt bike or something after you go for a ride. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and step inside. Well, before we do, I don't know if you got a shot of the awnings. Again, we have another window awning. We got the full uh, length roof mount awnings here. Uh, just a great look. Okay, why don't you go ahead. Again, this is the 4326 floor plan. Uh, it is the Camelot colors, uh, new colors, and I really like the floor tile. I'm going to squeeze through here just to kind of show you what it's like when you're traveling, how easy it is to walk through here. Plenty of room, you know, if you're traveling with four or five people, they want to get up and grab something to drink, make a sandwich. You can access your refrigerator quite easily. You do have some uh, wardrobe or pantry here. And then you can see if you need to get into this half bathroom, it's very doable. And we'll open this up and talk a little more about it, but it's always uh, nice to show you what it's like when you're traveling. A lot of people want to see this, especially if you've got maybe big dogs. If you've got labs or golden retrievers, they're kind of husky. They've got enough room to get through right here. Okay, I'm going to step up front and open these up. And so on the driver's side here, we have our full wall slide, and this is a heavy duty. Get a shot of the mechanism right up here. Look at that, uh, that slide out chain. This is a heavy duty HWH system. And as it goes out, you notice that it's not touching the tile, the rollers underneath there. The slide will go all the way out and then drop down to a flush floor. And the fact that they've got tile in that slide out. They call that more floor. One of the changes they made in 2016. Really a nice look. There's no carpet in here. Okay, they are not the fastest slides in the world, but they really are one of the more dependable ones. Let's put our other side out. Like I say, this is the uh, Camelot decor with the uh, driftwood maple, glazed maple 
cabinets and I really like the look. It's, you know, it's a lighter gray. It, it you know, blends well with the floor and the backsplash. Uh, Newmar did a great job with this color, I think. Okay, while we're here, I'm going to talk a little bit about what we got going on in the dash. Now, this is the Spartan K2 chassis. Uh, you know, more of them are built on the Freightliners, but I always like the Spartan when it comes in. A um, couple of things. Let me go over some of these buttons. Now, on this side, we do have our levelers. These are full automatic levelers. Uh, just hit the button. It's going to do it on its own. You have an Allison 3000 six-speed transmission. Mirror controls here with heated mirrors. Uh, your ATC override, you've got auto traction control, and there might be a time when you want to uh, override that, uh, particularly on slippery surfaces or something like that. Um, they've got, let me get some power here, put a nice uh, electric window there. Seals really well, you don't hear air coming through. Over here, this, uh, this button confuses some people. We've got our tag dump, then it says auto, disable, and manual. This is for your airbags. Now, if I want to dump my tag, let's say I'm going to really do some tight maneuvering, I don't have to have pressure on that tag axle. It's still going to tilt, uh, you know, and prevent the scrubbing. But you want to have this in the auto position, in the center position, whenever you're driving. What that's going to do is it's going to air up your bag. If you manually dump these bags, uh, you know, it's going to drop you down all the way. Or if you hit tag dump, you could dump your tag axle and it'll stay there. You want to make sure that's in auto when you're driving. Uh, over here, we've got our engine brake. This is your on-off. And then it's a three-speed. It's a transmission retarder is what it is, actually. That's right here. Uh, got our light switches. Right here, we've got our house and battery uh, boost, or house and chassis batteries. So if my house battery is low and I want to use my chassis batteries maybe to start the generator. I can jump it either way. If you come out and it's too cold and your, your uh, chassis batteries are kind of dead, you can use your house batteries to jump it. And then this is just your high beams, your dome light. We've got other light switches up here. Uh, I'll go ahead and start this up. So again, we talked about this being the Spartan K2 chassis. Uh, they added this panel here. So as I'm scrolling through, let's see, I'm uh, sitting here and I want to change my camera view. Uh, there we are. So now I can go from the 360. I can just do my back, my side cameras. This does have the bird's eye view. And while you're driving, you might not want to fumble with this to get through it. You can change that view right here. This is a nice little feature that they added. So you can look at your overhead, both front and rear. That's looking out the back. But you can see what's around you, uh, a nice feature there. Another thing, as we get into uh, the dash here, uh, you notice as I scroll through, one of the things that I like to have set up, I go to my settings and I leave it on comfort drive. Now with the comfort drive, if I want to dial that up, say I'm at, you know, on the highway at 70, 75 miles an hour, I want a little stiffer control on the wheel. And then when I get to my uh, campground or I'm going to be maneuvering around a parking lot, I might put that all the way down to one. And what the Comfort Drive is, it's computer assisted steering that's sensing torque on the wheels, crosswinds, crowns in the road. It's going to keep the wheel in the center position. And it's really quite impressive when you think with all of the weight on the front tires, we don't have our jacks down. I let go of that wheel and look how it's going to come back to the center position. How that's going to benefit you on a long trip. You're really only turning one direction and then you just kind of let the wheel go and it comes back on its own. It's not as stressful on the shoulders and up in the neck. If you put in six or eight hours behind the wheel on a day, you know how fatigued it can be, especially in a gas coach or something that you seem to be fighting the wind to keep it in the middle. 
Comfort Drive is a game changer. This is the most comfortable driving uh, diesel pushers you're going to find. So that's some of the controls that you have here. There's a lot more, and as you start, you know, uh, going through your settings, another thing that I find uh, helpful is my uh, collision mitigation system. I've got the cruise control, and I can adjust, you know, my distance for long. I can disable it. Uh, short and this is sensing the cars I'm coming up on as it's going to to slow you down so you want to play with this and get to know uh, you know all of the settings but there's only a couple that I'm going to use when I'm driving and having the ability to change that camera right here uh, kind of eliminates having to get into those settings as much okay while we're sitting here I'll show you what we've got here a couple of little pull-out drawers maybe for your maps if people use those anymore there is a pedal down there that uh, it affects your tilt and your telescope so I just like to get that out of the way heated seats and they are fully automatic and uh, this one I used to call it the grandmother seat it's about one and a half as wide uh, the reason they called it the grandmother seat in the old days, grandma used to be able to sit here with one of her grandkids and go down the road. But it does have the uh, little work surface here, which is kind of a nice feature. Um, this does have a footrest, and both of these chairs pivot around, become part of the living room. And then before we move back, I'll just show you a little bit of storage up here. This uh, compartment has got all of our slide out controls, awning controls. Uh, one thing, I'm going to turn this inverter on. These awnings are 110 volts. So if you're not plugged in, you can simply turn your inverter on. Uh, that'll power your microwave, your washer dryer, but also your awnings and they are, there's a, uh, a motion sensor in there. So if it gets really windy, those are going to shut on their own. Uh, security lights, uh, got your uh, exterior step. We want to shut that off so it's not going in and out every time. Uh, aqua hot controls, you can see right here for our AC uh, circuits, we've got two electric. I can run it with one or with both. I can turn both of them on and the diesel burner when I want to heat it up on a really cold day. So this Oasis system is just a, a great system. Okay, let's move back and uh, check out the fascia. They, they put new trim in it this year. I, again, I really like this coach. I really like the colors. Uh, nice storage here. These are all open, so if you have longer items, you can get in there. And that's about mm, 17, 18 inches deep. It's really a big compartment. Um, the couch chair is a height of bed, and I'm going to pull it out at the end with, with the bed across from us. We've got two couches that both will convert to sleepers, so I'll show you that as we're finishing up. Uh, we do have the Euro booth here now. If you notice, there are two footrests. And I guess if I'm going to sit here and watch TV, and let's go ahead and put our televator up, well, this is just about right. <laughs> We've got to be a game on somewhere I could be watching. So again, two of those. Over here we have our love seat, and this is just a jackknife. I'll show you that, like I said, in a little bit. Um, MCD power shades. So let's say I want to put all of my night shades down. I've got a control for the front of the coach and then one back in the bedroom. You can see all the night shades are coming down. The main shade for the windshield is up front. You do that from the dash. So I'm going to stop those. I'll put them back up. One switch that I want to point out because I, I like what they've done this year. Right here, we've got our floor heat. And this coach has three different zones. 
So this is for the front zone for the living room and you can see you've got a low, medium, high. And I talked about how that um, floor heat is an electric grid and it's right under the tile, right in the thin set. Uh, where a hydronic system with the, the coils of glycol, the fluid that runs through it, would be under your subfloor, so you'd have to heat up the subfloor, you know, those, those uh, little bit of spacing on your floor joists, and then all the way up to the tile before you feel the heat. This you'll feel right away. It's an electric grid. If you have a failure, they can determine where it is. It's right here under this tile. That tile can be removed. You can get into that grid and repair it. Put that tile back, that's why they give you a few extra. Nobody will even know you did it. So there's three of those, I'll point them out as we go. And you can also have a master control in the middle. I'll show you that here in a minute also. We're gonna move into the kitchen now. First, let's show you a little bit of the storage here. Now they still give you an area for like a DVD player or a satellite or uh, video components right here couple of storage on the side. I've always liked the way Numar does their cabinetry. Number one, beautiful, no wrap styles, all solid wood, hand stained. But the contour here, it's not just a flat bank of cabinets. It gives it a little interest to me. Over here by our convection microwave, we've got a little, I don't know, spice rack or whatever you want to use it for up there. And then we do have a convection microwave. You seldom find a uh, oven in these anymore. More often they've opted to go with the dishwasher and uh, that's not gonna open without my power on. Here's our silverware drawer and uh, nicely finished. You can see you've got all your remotes there. You do get some touch up paint. And I mentioned this is a custom paint job. You can kind of design the colors. You can't change the pattern, but here's some touch up for all of your exterior colors. Wrench for your water filter and so forth. That one back there. All of them are soft closed drawers. Here we've got our induction cook surface and true induction means kind of shows you anything a magnet will stick to, any pan, uh, that's metallic you can use on here and you can also pull this out completely unplug it take it out under your awning and use it to cook outside if you'd like and on the on the back of these you do have a little cutting board this window is an option uh, they don't come with a kitchen window I like the fact that they put it in, especially when it's looking out over here on your patio side. Nice double sink, and I think they call this the 60-40, the way it's divided. If you're, you know, going to wash your dishes by hand and rinse them off, you've got room here. Residential style sprayer. And the other cover, if you're wondering, is down here. Now, you can see over on the side, they provide a place where you can put your sink covers and your oven covers. You do have a pullout, and that gets convenient to not have to get on my knees to reach all the way back. Place for a trash can and another compartment back there. They don't have to put those pullouts everywhere, but they do, again, when you know the difference. There's a reason people uh, end up with the new Mars. If you're a shorter lady and you've got some canned goods or something back here, I can reach it now, where when it's like this, I probably can't. A couple other storage compartments there I'll show you. And then here we have three more drawers. And again, all of these soft clothes. I like their hardware too. Everything's a hidden hinge, a uh, nice kind of a bronze colored uh, uh, matte hardware. A little skinny drawer there, I guess maybe for knives and things like that. And then here is our, it's like 19 foot or 18.7 cubic foot residential refrigerator. The blue in there is our antifreeze. And 
And then up here, that is a deep compartment. You can get a lot of stuff up there. I probably wouldn't put my cast iron up there above my head, but <laughs> that's up to you. Now, let's turn back over to this side. We've got a, a U-shaped dinette here. Now this one does not convert into a sleeper, but you do have a leaf, a couple of folding chairs. You can see how you could get six people if you wanna put one on the end, maybe even seven around this table. And then again, we've got three more cabinets overhead. And if you look out the window now, you can see that awning. And you can see what I mean in the late afternoon. If that sun's at an angle here and it's July and hot, I don't want it beaten in on my table. So I really appreciate those awnings. Now, we're getting back into the cool part. You know, it's the bunk area. One of the things I really like this is they try to uh, design some extra wardrobe and pantry area. So right here we've got our main pantry. And there are six full pull-out drawers here. And these are somewhat adjustable. There's holes here, but I don't think anybody really moves them from their factory position. And then right beside this, we've got not only another pantry or storage area, but you notice there's a bar up here. You could use it for wardrobe or, you know, taller items. Maybe you've got a little Dyson, you know, vacuum uh, you could store in there. But this one does come with its own built-in vacuum right here. Put your uh, hose in there and it turns it on automatically. Or you can sweep things up, come over here, lift that up, sweep it in, get it nice and neat. Across from that pantry, we've got another storage closet. So good room up here, place to hang some clothes, another pull-out drawer. So they've, they've really put a lot of extra storage in the little places. And then before we show you the bunk, I'm just going to show you the half bath. Now, I'm going to open up everything so you can see how much room you have. And on both sides of the toilet, those cabinets are pretty big. Why don't you get in there and look around? They've got a vessel sink, and I even like the new, uh, the new color and the new sink they put up on that little pedestal there. Go ahead and close these. The uh, one compartment here that I didn't open, it's got your fuses and breakers there. And everything is labeled. Uh, they give you some extra fuses. So if you're wondering why my uh, driver's side slide out's not working, come check this 20 amp fuse. Okay, now across from the half bath, we have our bunk area. And uh, I, I'm not going to lay in there today because I want to show you some other things. I, I put the ladder down there. First of all, these bunks are big enough for me. I'm 5'8". I think somebody about six foot tall could lay in there. So if you've got a race crew and you got to, you know, bring a couple of extra uh, pit members or, you know, a large family and every kid wants to bring friends, you have room here. Another nice thing about this one, I can lay this down. There's another switch that I'd already opened and I can get this out of the way. You can see there's a, a bar up there so you can use it for a wardrobe or maybe you've only got one person sitting here and they don't want to you know, have to hunch over and, and climb in there. You can just get it out of their way. Both of these bunks have their own lights. You've got 110 USB ports and everything on each side. And a lot of bunks you see, they're only maybe uh, 26, 28 wide. I think these are 30 or 32. They actually have a lot of room there. And it's nice that you can close this off if you are using it just as a wardrobe. Uh, you know, you can get it out of sight there. 
All right, let's move back toward the bedroom. Here's one more change. They give us a 10 inch monitor this year. So uh, I was talking about that floor heat. I can adjust them all right here. Now the front, oh, I've got that one on. I'll turn it off. The mid is uh, the bathroom, bedroom area. And then the back is actually, your back bathroom has its own control. So you've got heated floors throughout. Uh, you can pair in your phone and there's a new app that you can control a lot of the features here. Uh, you know, your HVAC, when I'm there, I'm gonna turn on my aqua hot. It's not too bad today, gonna be 60 degrees in Colorado, believe it or not. And then of course your lights, you can turn them on, all on and off here or do them individually. So this is a nice big monitor. I, I like the 10 inch here. Okay, as we move back into the bedroom, uh, let's look over here at our storage first. We've got a couple of shirt closets here. And then underneath, we still have a compartment here for video components. And then the rest of these are deep pull-out drawers. And again, So plenty of storage there. Nice TV across from the foot of the bed. And then if we look at the bed, um, they put pedestals on each side. And I was wondering where the outlet is. Well, they've moved them inside now. And you've got a little slot there up on top. So if you're plugging in your cell phone or maybe you have a, a CPAP machine or an oxygen machine you want to put there. But also, you've got a plug up there and a place right here where I could bring cables. So if you're sleeping with a sleep machine, it's really convenient to get it out of the way and just drop your line down here. You've got that on each side of the bed. You do have windows that open. And again, with your remote control, you can adjust your day-night shades back here in the bedroom. You can see I've got the accent lighting on. It's really kind of a nice look back here. And then under your king bed, you can see those are our two chairs, and actually you have two leaves for the table here. Okay, let's move into the bathroom. So, first of all, I'll start here. We've got an egress door. And if I pull this panel off, there's a ladder that drops down. But I'd, I'd sure appreciate going out this door rather than a window if there's a real emergency. And then porcelain toilet, of course. Over here, we've got our stackable washer and dryer. If you look right here, again, here's another control for our bathroom floor heat, just for this area. You also have one in the bedroom for the bedroom and uh, half bath area. Aquamizer right here. Turn around and get a shot in the shower. You see that blue light that comes on? That's our aquamizer. And what that's gonna do for us is, when I'm getting ready to take a shower and the water is heating up, my aquamizer is going to save that fresh water by recirculating it back into the fresh water holding tank. Uh, it's not even coming out the, the shower head. So when that light turns red, I believe, lets you know the water is warm, then you move the valve, you take your shower. Now at this point, we're filling our gray tank and we're using our fresh water. But we're not wasting it, waiting for it to heat up, and we're not filling that gray tank when we don't need to. If you're gonna be out for a long time, that's kind of nice. I'm not gonna step in here this time because of the antifreeze on the floor, but you can see the nice uh, shower surround, and this is actual tile here, uh, big waterfall shower head and then you do have the handheld shower head. So because of the bunkhouse and in a 43 footer they put a corner shower in so it's a little bit smaller than let's say you'd get in a 4369 but you know to make room for the bunks they got to take some uh, some room out someplace. Most of your 43 footers have a double sink. This model doesn't of course because it's a little smaller bathroom. So here we are let's show you the sink. 
Got a nice medicine cabinet. Some more storage down here and a couple more full pull-out drawers. And then over here we have more wardrobe area. And as you can see, we've got a safe in there. Now, this coach is designed to, to sleep at least six people, you know, provided that you could double up a couple of the kids. And I said I wanted to show you what that's like, so we're going to move back up front and I'm going to pull those beds out for you. So, the first thing I'm going to do is just get those out of the way. Now, one thing about this, you have to take the, uh, the cushions off, but since it's, you know, getting time for bed, I'm just going to pile them up on the table here. And these will actually fit under that way. They'll go all the way back in if you don't have that other footstool sitting there. Okay, and then you have a little release here. There we go. Just that easy. And then let's say you've got you know, a, a shorter uh, adult or maybe a couple of kids, we can actually make this into a bed. And you can see how much room there is in between here. Easy to walk through, easy to get out the front if you need to. So, you know, obviously two adults here, possibly two children here. We've got our king bed back here. We've got bunks for two here. And of course, if you uh, have any in-laws or third cousins, there's the uh, slide out trays you saw on the outside that are always available. So once again, this is a 4326 Dutch Star, brand new. It is available. Uh, my name's Mark Love. If you have any questions, please give me a call or reach out to one of us. If you want to set up a time to come look at this and drive it, and I uh, think I'll be back tomorrow with another video. We got some people on vacation, so I'll say goodbye for now. Happy trails, my friends. We'll see you next time.